The Sunni-Shia divide has its roots in the early history of Islam, specifically around the issue of who should lead the Muslim community after the death of Prophet Muhammad. After the Prophet's death, his followers were split into two groups. One group believed that the community should elect its leader, while the other believed that the Prophet's family should inherit the leadership. The first group, known as the Sunni, chose Abu Bakr, one of the Prophet's closest companions, to be the first caliph. They believed that the caliphate should be elected by the community, based on the principles of consensus and consultation. The second group, known as the Shia, believed that the leadership of the Muslim community should be inherited by the Prophet's family. They believed that Ali, the Prophet's cousin and son-in-law, was the rightful successor to the Prophet and should have been the first caliph. This disagreement over the leadership of the Muslim community led to the formation of the two main branches of Islam, Sunni and Shia. Over time, the two branches developed their own distinct religious practices and traditions. One of the major differences between Sunni and Shia Muslims is the importance placed on the Prophet's family. Shia Muslims believe that the Prophet's family members, particularly Ali and his descendants, known as the Imams, are the rightful leaders of the Muslim community and have a special status and authority to interpret Islamic law. Sunni Muslims, on the other hand, do not believe in the concept of imamate or the special status of the Prophet's family members. They rely on the teachings of the Prophet's companions and later scholars to interpret Islamic law. Another major difference between Sunni and Shia Muslims is the way they commemorate certain religious events. One of the most significant events in Shia Islam is the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet, at the Battle of Karbala in 680 AD. Shia Muslims commemorate this event every year during the month of Muharram, with processions, poetry, and other rituals. Sunni Muslims, on the other hand, do not place as much emphasis on the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, and instead commemorate other important events in Islamic history, such as the Prophet's migration from Mecca to Medina. Despite these differences, it is important to note that the vast majority of Sunni and Shia Muslims coexist peacefully and share many of the same core beliefs and values. Both branches of Islam place a strong emphasis on compassion, justice, and service to others, and are committed to upholding these values in their daily lives. Overall, the Sunni-Shia debate is a complex and nuanced issue that reflects the diversity of the Muslim community. While there are differences between the two branches of Islam, it is important to recognize that these differences are based on sincere differences of opinion and interpretation, and that both Sunni and Shia Muslims share a deep reverence for their faith and are committed to living their lives in accordance with its principles.